Hey everybody, welcome back to Zion Dr. Bosky. Dimitri, thank you very much for turning around the Riot Shield mech, our one of our newest characters in Interstellar Sentinel 2. Thought I would just give you a chance to see what this looks like um, in engine. And uh, yeah, so I like, I think where we're at right now, I, that it's, um, I like the opacity that we have um, for the purple bits. Um, I like the size of the shield. I put some notes in the Trello card. Um, I think in terms of rendering, we're really close um, in terms of just getting that kind of final um, a final look together. Um, still have a couple of issues, I think, on the um, on my side with setting up the uh, the particles. You can see they don't quite fit exactly. All this kind of nice. We get this little bright action here now on the back side. Um, you can see that it it. Um, this little bit, it's, it's such a weird thing, but, uh, so I love that we have these guy like, bursty flame things. I know it's some kind of an exhaust thing, um, which is a reminder. We need to, uh, wind up addressing these particles to, to kind of be in line with, uh, the particle, uh, the particles, the, the <laughs> particles to be, um, purple to, to kind of, you know, to, to, uh, match, I think this kind of weird plasma power thing we've got, but it's really cool that you can see the, the, uh, the noise through um the kind of fuel cell tank thing so there's a couple of cases i think in the engine where um and i gotta follow this bug uh where the particle locators when they spawn when they're moving they obviously are not fully aligned every time so some kind of issue on that side but uh again not the end of the world there um okay cool so why don't we hop on over to the last things that we were talking about all right cool 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 so um here we are taking a look at the uh, at the rim light tests, right? So I think my favorite is I really like how you have this sort of like rim bounce lighting that that is going like in you know like from from here up to here, um, and that kind of gives us that you know that that self kind of self lighting for it as well. I think you're carrying that forward really well um, in these areas as well, and then. Uh, I think I also still like, I like the idea that you have going here where, you know, a lot of our environment is big and yellow. And so we have these kind of, uh, you can't see them really here in this particular version, but you can see sort of the like yellow highlights here. I think that kind of, that does carry a bit into the environment. So why don't we try a version where we paint our rim lights on still on the front side. But anywhere we have kind of like a bounce, I think we can go um, with where you're kind of already thinking here, right? So it's kind of like, I don't think we have to really mix the yellows and purples together. I think we can just, um, we can take that bounce um, and um, and essentially um, do the bounce lights here. So again, really enjoying with like the, um, uh, like the kind of plasma chainsaw thing a bit. I think we lost our, our shards actually. We lost our little divots on this thing, but uh, we lost our teeth. Uh, kind of an interesting there. I, we had teeth in the previous version. Um, so you can take that as a as a piece of feedback if you like. Um, let me take a look here. Where are we at on the layers? Pow. Uh, and by that, I meant um, hello, push all the buttons until things work. And yeah, because I think before we had these kind of sawtooth blades that were uh, kind of part of the that. Um, Maybe we can do like a, I don't know, maybe the plasma bits work. I don't, I don't think we have to actually have saw tooth, uh, saw teeth to it, but I don't know, food for thought. Anyways, that's a minor detail back to where we're at. So yeah, so I think why don't we keep anywhere we have kind of lighting on the, um, on the, the mech itself. Let's do that kind of bounce lighting, um, that we're kind of simulating there. And then for the exterior, doesn't all make full sense. Uh, I think we could possibly, uh, then continue to go with kind of like these, um, these uh, yellow um, more uh, outlines that we kind of have because they're not picking up the light from the inner side. So um, I think that was the main thing. Oh, the other thing here. So coming down, it'll be cool when we see these guys animating. Um, uh, actually a question now that I'm looking at that. Uh, let's see, Makoto glitch, caution. Yeah, I think that's, Yes, the I was just checking the font. Okay, yeah. Um, all right. So, something that is isn't quite working for me is um, I think we have two things down here. So one is we have this kind of strip, right? Um, I don't know what's going on with this kind of paint here. It feels like it's kind of outside of the screen itself. Um, it could just be that we haven't finalized the painting there uh, for rendering, but I thought I'd point that out. And then also 
there there's just something that's not quite working for me on this kind of this edge as well here um make this a little bigger oh it's just all down this strip. It's just, it, it feels, it feels like, I don't know, maybe the, the lines aren't straight. Um, it's the, maybe a mixture of the color, but it's this kind of, it's a really thick kind of line. It doesn't quite work um, for me. So I don't mind, I think the, cause the, these screens aren't really um, throwing a bunch of light in my mind. So I think we can still go with the yellow. I think that part of this is just like, hey, let's clean up this like this these edges here um, because they're a little bit uh, a little dirty for us. Otherwise, I'm enjoying the the detailing that we've got going on and the the um, like panels here <coughs> coming to the bolts. I think we're pretty good to go. We have a little bit of glow here. Um, I think we could have we could be a little probably a little bit more. Um, uh, uh, what do we say? We could probably be a little bit more intense with the glow here, but it's not the end of the world either. Um, otherwise, I think we're good to go. And then on the Trello card, the last thing that I had here was, um, okay, yeah, so uh, I wound up, uh, the last version you delivered, um, so the assets were already in 256 by 256. Feel free to keep delivering to me and the um, the higher resolution. I'll just keep scaling them down on my side. That way I always have the higher resolution um, that I can scale down in case I need to mess with stuff. It makes it a little bit easier um, uh, later on. And then the other one here is in the bright shield. Um, there uh, were pretty small in the, the canvas. So you can see it's it's here. Um, open new tab, does that work? Yeah. So um, basically I just, I took this thing and we should scale it up to, to basically fit almost. I gave you the reference for it to fit the, the uh, sprite sheet itself. Um, I really want to keep that kind of uh, massive sort of shield. Um, it, I think it really feels good, especially when you're hitting this and it's kind of covering up the whole front parts of the mech themselves. Um, I did size it down since I had scaled it up in the sprite sheet. Uh, we went back to uh, normal scale uh, in engine. So it was at 100%, which I always like. So no engine side scaling if we can help it. Um, that way it just keeps our assets cleaner and reusable throughout all the levels. All right. I think those were the main things. Um, I guess one more, one more look here. Pow, pow, pow. And we'll take a look at the, uh, the other deliveries uh, pretty soon here. Um, yeah, but other than those minor, I think, issues for rendering, I think we are good to um, do those updates and then we can move into uh, animation, I think. Um, yeah, so animation for the the shield and the, the, the right mech as well. So very, very cool. Thank you so much for the turnarounds. See you next time.